For some of you that want information on what simple machines are, let's look inside our little booklet. First of all, what is a simple machine? Well, two points. A simple machine has few or usually no moving parts, and a simple machine makes work easier. No one wants to do a lot of hard work. Now, there are six basic types of simple machines. You have levers, wedges, screws, wheel and axles, pulleys, and incline planes. Now, with a wheel and axle, you have a wheel, which we are really familiar with, and it moves around something, which is like a small rod called an axle. Think of a bicycle. The bicycle tire is moving around and around, but what is it moving on top of? If you look closely at the bicycle tire, if you haven't done so before, you'll see the rod. That's your axle. The pulley, well, a pulley are wheels and axles with grooves around the outside. A pulley needs a rope, chain, or belt around the groove to make it do work. A example of this is going back to your bicycle, is your bicycle chain. The bicycle chain is a pulley. It makes the wheels go round and round, changing direction, and at times making uh, life a little bit easier. In case, let's say you have gears, like a 10-speed bike. Incline plane, third. An incline plane is a flat surface that is higher on one end, and they also make work for moving things a lot easier. All right, let's go back to you riding a bicycle. You're riding a bicycle, you need to get on top of a curb on a sidewalk, which is gonna require less work. For you to take your tire and slam into the curb, trying to jump it, or going up one of those little ramps that the city provides us. Well, think about it. I would choose to go up the ramp. The same is being said for going upstairs. Moving upstairs makes life a lot easier. Can you imagine climbing a rope every single day to get from the bottom of the floor to the top of the floor? Not going to work too much. Uh, thirdly, we have wedges. A wedge is two inclined planes joined back to back. Think of this as a zipper or a knife. If you have butter at the table, let's say for dinner, and you have your rolls, well, sometimes a lot of people like to put butter on your rolls. You don't slam your bread down and just move it all around the butter. No, it's not going to work that way. So you take your knife, you separate a small piece of butter from the rest of it, and you put it on your bread. There you go. You use the wedge. Screws. A screw is an inclined plane that we just talked about two simple machines ago, around a shaft or a cylinder. Now, the screw is very important. Incline plane, and it actually acts as a wedge too, kind of combined. If you look at, actually most things that are put together, you'll find a screw or two. They are very important. So next time you're riding a bike, take a look at it. Uh, levers is the last. Uh, example for our simple machines. Now there are three types. You have first, second, and third. The first class, it's the fulcrum, is in the middle. An example of this would be the seesaw. The second class, well the fulcrum is not in the middle anymore, it is now the load. Think of a wheelbarrow for this. On a wheelbarrow, you pick up one end, you have a heavy object like a big brick in the middle, and the wheel on the wheelbarrow is the pivot point. That's the fulcrum. Now the third class of our simple machines, of our levers, is going to be, an example of this would be a fishing rod. The fulcrum is not in the middle anymore. The uh, load or resistance is not in the middle anymore, but our effort is. An example again would be a fishing rod. The fish that you hooked into would be the load. You pulling on the rod is the effort. And the lever, I'm sorry, the fulcrum is the, when the rod is sitting at the very bottom, kind of like into your abdomen or your stomach, and that's what the rod is pivoting on. So there you have it. All simple machines and a little bit of information about everyone. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Thank you.